Hello, and welcome to another episode of Draw Toys. So today, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we are doing a bit of a theme. Um, it, it's something that's fresh and new, and definitely hasn't been done by hundreds of other much bigger and more professional YouTubers. And that is, we are combining Draw Toys into a kind of a classic theme, and that is drawing Pokemon from memory. So, as always, to uh, help me along with this journey are my three guests, Tim. Hello. Tom. Hello, how's it going? And Dan. All right. Uh, so, today, uh, obviously, the rules are pretty simple. I'm going to hand it over to Tim, who will generate a random number. And that number will be out of 905, which is the current count of all known Pokemon. Uh, he's then going to tell us what Pokemon that number is. And we'll have like 10, 15 minutes to go off and draw it as best as we can from memory. Now, there is, however, one little road bump in this plan. Uh, only three of us really know Pokemon. Uh, both Tim, myself and Tom uh, have played Pokemon since the first generation. So we have seen every Pokemon. Uh, and I like to think, uh, you know, not speaking on you guys' behalf, but... I know what most of them look like, I think, until it gets down to drawing, in yeah. which case I'm going to just fucking spaghetti. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. However, Dan, um, he's played a bit of Pokemon Go, so... Hey, no, no, I, I did actually I think if it's play, an old one. I played Pokemon Yellow. Okay. I vaguely know some of the first 151... Okay. Uh, and to be fair, you have seen some of the newer gen through Pokemon Go as well. I mean, you know Beldum and Trico because you came on the community days with us. So there's a chance we'll hit upon a Pokemon that Dan knows. In the event that he we don't, which is something like 850 or 905, um, we're just going to leave Dan go nuts. We are going to give him the type of the Pokemon just so he kind of vaguely knows where he's going with it. But then we're just going to leave him be the wild card of the bunch, as it were. Uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, so yeah. those are all the rules out of the way. So now we're going to hand it over to Tim to generate a random number and tell us what Pokemon it is we're going to be drawing first. Let's do it. So between 1 and 905, let's find out. Ooh. Okay, Ooh, it's a high one. <laughs> it's a high one, Dan, I'm sorry. No. So we've got... 875. Oh. Now, this Pokemon... <laughs> uh, actually, I, I should mention, in um, because it's relevant to this number, um, if the Pokemon has a number of different forms, then um, we can choose, basically. We, mm -hmm. we just go with whatever form we know best. And in this case, you're going to have to pick between a big ice blocky head or a non-ice blocky head, because it's Ice-Q. Ice-Q. Okay. And what type is Ice-Q, Tim? This is an ice Pokemon. Okay. And I've given you a little bit of a hint there at the start. Like, you know, I've, I've given you a vague description there, so hopefully that will, uh, okay. that will help. Okay. Right. Well, that that's... I'm fe I'm feeling pretty confident about that, actually, to be honest. Um, so, right. We're all going to go off now and draw Ice Q. Uh, so we'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes. With three <laughs> attempts at Ice Q and one attempt at a, a daffodil with a sword or something. We'll we'll see what Dan's comes up with. <laughs> uh, see you after this break. And we are back. So we all went off and uh, drew our version of Ice Q. Now, up on screen right now is regular Ice Q. So uh, Tim and I were discussing this actually. This is technically Ice Face Ice Q, so there's no Ice Ice Q as well. Default. Default Ice Q, that's for like, yeah, there we go. Okay, Default yeah, version. there we are. So um, so th this is just the sort of, the one I'm going to be putting on screen. If it happens that any of us have drawn no Ice uh, Ice Q, then I'll be putting that up instead. There's not a massive amount of difference, but, you know, you're probably aware of Ice Q if you're watching this. Or maybe you're not, and you're like Dan. Anyway... Uh, we've all gone off and drawn it, so we are now going to present to the group our versions of Ice Q. So, keeping with tradition, I guess I'll I'll post mine first. Uh, and so, I I th I'm pretty happy with my one. I think it's 
not a million miles away. I underestimated Aww. the ice head. I think that's really good. Yeah, that's. I think that's good. That's. I think that's on point. It's. Um... Uh, yeah, like. So the two things I wasn't confident about were the feet, how the feet went, if that makes sense, because real Ice Cube has little legs leading to the feet, whereas mine's just a chubby boy with... Yeah, but that could be like an angle. I guess, yeah. Um, And I mean, the head is too small, but otherwise, I'm generally happy with my ice cube i think uh, if if i showed it to someone i think they could probably recognize it as ice cube if they knew what pokemon it was it's more a lot more accurate yeah. than mine <laughs> uh would it's anyone, a lot like, more accurate than mine so we're gonna keep dan's till the end because i think that's uh that's gonna be a treat i think so who would like to go next i'll go next if that's all, all right. right then so tom what is your uh, version so, of ice cube so I'll put it up now. There you go. And I, uh, I put Aww. a little message as well. Oh, <laughs> That's really cool, actually. He looks, it's it's I, really I, good. He looks a little bit terrified. Like, he's, uh, yeah, like, shocked I, at something. I forgot it was a beak. I thought it was just a big, round, like, mouth sort of thing on the ice thing. Ah. Also, I went with the grey for, you know, its mean feather edge, but... Yeah, I guessed with the feet. I absolutely guessed. Yeah, no, th- um, those are those are spot on. Those are like, you know, you you done well. Also, I I, mean, I, I like the sheeding. The like, obviously, its well, face is darker because it's away from the sun. That's I like that. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I I I was gonna do. Yeah, I like your background red. I kind of just didn't know what to do when I'd already started, so I did some cracked. Ice. Oh, it's nice. I, I like it. It's uh, no, it's it's really cool. Yeah, right. That's two for two. I'd I'd say that's pretty much. Well, uh... <laughs> well. <laughs> I think it's a good thing we've gone in this order because I think the further down the line we're going, the further away from a school we're getting. So, um, disclaimer: I I I think I've mixed up part of a school with part of something else. I I. I couldn't remember. I, I obviously I knew about the ice face and I knew he looked like a penguin, but here's Ice Cube. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I I quite like it, Mike. So I could have sworn he could have had like a squiggly mouth, but I, I'm I'm confusing him with someone else. But I I thought yeah. in the back of my head I was like, yeah, he's got that like um like that like squiggly mouth, and. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I was like, oh, what feet does he have? He has like pointy feet, doesn't he? But no, obviously he has like little flippers because he's a fucking penguin. But my mind didn't, it, it, it it's... just didn't work. And now he looks like he's got the body of like cat in the hat. He looks like cat in the hat in the body, but then he also looks a little bit like a heartless. So, or yeah. well, what I was gonna say, it looks a bit like Indeedy has frozen its head. <laughs> because it's fusion, it's a fusion, yeah, 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 yeah. That was intentional. Or it looks a yeah, little yeah, yeah. bit like a nightmare before Christmas version of Ice Cube. <laughs> yeah, but I thought I'd put him in a little igloo so he oh. at least at, at least he'd have somewhere to hide. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that's I like, really cute. I like the moon. I like the moon. Mm, yeah, it's like a wedge of <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Like the moon. Yeah, or or, or Pac Man's like he's he's really opened up. There's a massive cherry yeah. there. He's like, oh god, this is gonna be a big one. Yeah, I like that though. That's cute. Thank you, thank you. Uh, arguably, actually, I'd even say uh, squiggly mouth. I think would look cuter, nice cute. So there you go. You know, uh, come on, come po- on, guys. Pokemon art yeah, department. If you're listening or watching this, uh, get on it. I tell you what. Yeah, I want my money. Before though. we go to dance, I've forgotten. What his? I swear he has like a really thin, like pinhead when it's out uh, when it's broken. Yeah, it's the eyes. very yeah. small. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll go up for reference, but we'll see. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll chuck it up. Uh, I'll chuck it up on the screen. It, it says here it's the no ice face, but because there's no, um, because there's no space, it actually looks like it says noise. Noise. Uh, noise. <laughs> It's nice. a noise face. Yeah. <laughs> Up goes Michael Rowers and GIF now as well. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
Uh, right. Well, I we've put her off long enough. I think we we've beat her on the bush. We we've go. deleted it as best we can. Dan, would you like to draw what you think Ice Q, the ice type Pokemon, is? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to show it and let yeah. the art okay, speak yeah. for itself. Of course. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's got a tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, I, I, I really tongue. enjoy the hat. I really enjoy the hat. You know what? Abstractly, it's a lot more similar than to the real thing than I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is it got a little bow tie? Is that what that is? It. It does. Oh. Um. And it is. It ha- okay. Okay. Yeah. And you might be wondering, what is the the stuff on his head? Mm-hmm. So. It's a hat, right? But I thought, <laughs> yeah. well, because Propeller because hat. it doesn't fit, because it doesn't fit on him, he's put duct tape over it. So, <laughs> oh, that's what those oh, are, right? Got you. I don't. Duct- yeah, I, uh, duct tape definitely works on ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, and I, I think that. <laughs> and I thought, right, what kind of um, Pokemon is this? And I thought, well, you know. That, that Pokemon has a job, and I was thinking, what kind of job would that be? And I would say, right, he he works at a bar, and he, you know, dispenses ice cubes, and so... Oh, that's, that's uh, right, I got you, that's right. the, the little ice cube things. I thought he was melting, and I was slightly concerned. <gasps> no. So... Wow. So, yeah. Well, And he... he's got some cool kicks as well. Yeah. He looks like... Yeah. One of those really, you know, like Digimon sometimes goes out of its way with like the poop Digimon and stuff. Yeah, he looks like he could be one of those like ice Numemon. Yeah. I was thinking like mascot for an ice company who makes like ice cubes. Well, I, he'd have, I, he'd have like a jingle like go down to Tesco's to buy some ice. Ding ding. Well, I, I was gonna say he looks a little bit like if. Kool Aid made a like frozen Kool Aid section, and they're like, yeah. it's the wacky ice pops, and he'd be the wacky ice oh, pop. Oh fucking! Hell. Imagine him bursting through. <laughs> oh god! Imagine him bursting through your walls in the middle of the night. Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> you couldn't help yourself with a tongue, could you, Dan? You just couldn't tongue, help tongues yourself. Tongues are a big thing with Dan's art. Uh, Whatever, I mean, uh, here's a question for you, Dan, a a genuine question. I noticed that he's got teeth. Uh, Are they made of regular human teeth, or are they ice teeth? And the tongue as well. Is that flesh, or is that ice flesh? Well, the origins of... uh... (gasps) Wait, the tongue, hang on, if if we can add to the backstory here. So you know there's like the running joke in movies that people go lick an ice sculpture or something out of ice and they'll get stuck to it. Yes. Like, Ugh. Right, but sometimes people, part of people's tongues have literally come off because of that. So I reckon <laughs> he disguises himself, gets people to lick it, and through time he's absorbed yeah. the tongues and turned them into, like, his own tongue. Yeah, I, I mean... Like that. Terrifying. That's a Pokedex entry there. That's Dan's Pokedex. That's ah. Oh. Uh, it's just just gonna be like really disturbing Pokemon. That's Where just, did he get the eyes from? Are those human eyes? This. Well, there we are. All right, we'll we'll leave you there. Um, let us know in the comment section below if you've been able to sleep. Um, after watching this, and <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Write the origin story for this Pokemon. Yeah. On the back of a Porsche car. Absolutely. Um, right. Well, I there's. I'll be honest. There's no easy segue into the second part. There's. I. I can't go from that. Right. Let's go into part two. <laughs> Tim, do you want to generate us right. another number? I shall. I shall. Drum roll, please. The next number is four hundred and forty-seven. That is. Oh, okay. Uh, that's Riolu. Riolu, okay. Okay, that's a bit harder, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, Riolu is, uh, uh, Dan, it's a fighting type. Okay. It's not not multi-type, is it? I thought it was multi-type. No. It is when it evolves, but it's not when it's unevolved. Okay. 
Okay, right, cool. Well, we're all, g- we're all gonna go off and draw Riolu to the best of our abilities then. Uh, so we will be back shortly with our creations. And we are back. So we've all gone away and drawn a very accurate Riolu, uh, all to our picture perfect memory. And now we're gonna go display it and just how accurate we all were. Um, so, I mean, I, I think I speak for everyone here. Apart from Dan, I guess, who didn't know what he was drawing anyway, the, like the subject matter. That was a difficult one. That was rough. It was. It was surprisingly yeah. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I remembered certain parts and other parts I just blanked on. So, as with last time, I am now going to post uh, the real Riolu. This is what he should look like. Uh, on screen right now. <laughs> God. So. Oh Lord. Uh, I, I mean, I've missed out little bits. Uh, yeah, no, uh, okay, mine, mine doesn't look great. So I guess keeping with tradition, I'll post mine first. So, for context, I I went a little bit extra with this, just committing to the part. As I was drawing mine, I realised it looked more and more like a furry OC. Right, like <laughs> it just it, it it ventured so far away from Riolu. I was like, this genuinely looks like I've tried to make my own character that is mm. totally not Riolu in the same sense as Sonichu or something. Uh, although Sonichu is an original character, um, so yeah, yeah. the the joke behind this is I the stance kind of looked a bit like a comic book cover, so I had the idea to make. This. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. Looks like oh, I don't like that. That makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. Why, why is the slowpoke dead? Well, no, no, he's knocked out, so he, he's been fighting crime. So I mean, that's down <laughs> to interpretation. Uh, well, yes. But so basically, um, I, I started drawing him, and then, like, he was too long, but I'd already drawn the feet, and I I quite liked how the feet turned out. So I was I like, right, I don't know what to do here. Um, so <laughs> yeah, so as as I say, it started out as Riolu, and it ended up with a furry OC, um, <laughs> who's who fights crime, and obviously uh. First issue. First like issue. For a bit of money these days. Yeah, absolutely. So that is the first issue of Yif Man. Um, subscribe to my Patreon to see they more, make... uh, including the uncensored version. Uh, I don't know what the censored version would be, actually. He has no genital areas. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... Um, I regret drawing that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I regret seeing that image. I, yeah, I, gonna the, the bandana, right? His ears and the bandana. I think, um, I think they turned out all, all right, and that's the highlight oh, of it. It a hundred percent looks a hundred times more like Riola than mine. Um, yeah, but I same. still don't want to look at it. <laughs> Put mine up next, then, I guess. Okay. I mean, I, uh, I. I emphasized uh, uh, the the yif as well. Oh, oh! Yep. Please don't yif oh, oh. me. That would totally go <laughs> against my aura. Ah, so <laughs> what's this? So does, for, it, does this? Yeah, go on. So for context, <laughs> viewers and Dan who don't know, uh, Riolu and Lucario use are the aura Pokemon. They kind of sense. Oh people. yeah, I did think was that Lucario. It does look yeah, very. it's, it's so BB it's Lucario. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, right, I don't know why Hive Mind. They're both at night. <laughs> I've noticed. Like, what's up yeah. with that? But yeah, your yours does look a bit like a cheeky goblin that you meet <laughs> in the grassland. I don't know what's up with its legs. Yeah, uh, he broke them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is it broken? Oh, okay. It's uh, um, and, oh, or maybe it's yeah. doing that like a jump, uh, uh, star jump. And obviously, all I remembered with the ears and <laughs> the fact it had red eyes and it had a pointy nose, but like I didn't get. Do the you know, it looks a little snout. bit. Comparing them, it looks like a little bit like it's the pre-evolution <laughs> of Tim's Ice Cube. Like compare the bodies, <laughs> right? <laughs> 
And, like, it looks yeah, like sure if you mean. give an ice stone to Goblin Riolu, it evolves into Tim's, like, Igloo Riolu. Uh, Lucario, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> wow. And, obviously, I presume it, it wonders around the gla- grassland being like, oh, no, I hope you don't stare at my furry butt. Yeah. tee hee hee <laughs> And and then <laughs> trainers are like, all right, let's come back in the morning. It'll it'll have gone by then, I think. That I I don't need to go on a Pokemon adventure. I'm yeah, going you know what? I'm going back to mum. Uh, she she'll look after me. Oh, Christ. Okay. okay. Well, so I I couldn't remember what Riolu looked like. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Um, I couldn't remember what Riolu looked like. I just started drawing, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> Oh, okay. That that's kind of. I mean, you got the shape done. I'd yeah. Say. It's... Honestly, you're you're the closest to shape. I'd say. Uh, it's you know. If someone showed me that, I wouldn't say, "Oh, yeah, that's a Friolo." I would say, <laughs> "Oh, that's an angry cat with big feet." Yeah, I mean, yeah. It it, it uh, basically it looks like the evolution of a chow, um, <laughs> from Sonic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a it's kind of cute though. I kind it's like I quite like it. It is. Uh... I've also realised now looking at it, it look, looks more like a cub fruit than a real. <gasps> Tim's got cub fruit on the brain. That's <laughs> that's a potential for next. Oh god damn! I can barely even picture cub fruit now. So I'm giving myself stress for things. It looks like here. that. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like that, right? There you go. There, there there's we are. your fucking reference for next time. Right. Let's go for it. Dan, we told you Riolu is a fighting type. Okay, so I went with that, literally. And, uh... Yeah. This is, uh... Okay. <laughs> okay. I had nothing yeah, to yeah, go with. not what I was expecting. Tornado with boxing gloves. Yeah. yeah. So Watch what... them. Watch them fucking put this into Scarlet and Violet. So what... What was the... Flying. What was the... Th- Thought process here, Dan. Sort of, did you look at the name and thought? Why mm. there was one? Well, the first thing that popped in my head was Rolo, the, s- the sweet. sweet. Okay, the chocolate. Um, which are only in the, uh, I think they're only in the UK. Yeah, I think there were there was like a thing in Europe, I think in America for a while. So I think off. my my how my thought process is. I think roll. Roll it goes round and round, and then okay. I thought, oh wait, hang on, and then it kind of went like that, and then I was like, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, <laughs> I like it though. I, you know, I do, yeah, else. I enjoy it. I'll be honest, Dan. Yeah, it's right. What it gives me vibes of is uh, pogs. You know, like back in the nineties, they had just like absolute mental sort of acid trip, just drawings of like. You know, crazy stuff. I I could see this being on a pog, uh. You know, sort of just like. Yeah, I was mean, thinking a bit like um, Tasmanian Devil when he starts. Yeah, yeah. Like... yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So uh, so Dan, um, we we made up your last um, Pokedex entry for the uh, the fact that the ice steals tongues and stuff and. What what obviously with the Pokedex entry, it's about two sentences. It just describes the base of a Pokemon. What would your two sentences be to describe this Pokemon? How does it live? What kind of environment does it you know well, do? This uh, this Pokemon likes to hang out in Irish bars, and okay. also <laughs> likes to go to uh, boxing matches. Hence the the boxing gloves and. Uh, and um and the and the stage job uh likes to go through trash and obliterate them and then you know help for the environment so kind of kind of a bin man and goes okay. through you know so all the bin men they take all the bin bags and yeah. then it's at the dump and then they're like right can you make even more of a mess and uh and yeah uh, like just fucking flung everywhere right yeah but yeah. then that'll obliterate it into smaller, tinier things that help make it more compact. Harder I, to I pick up. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But clearly, 
clearly this Pokemon knows I mean, I think Dan's I looked the closest to Riolu out of all of us, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, think, I think Dan wins this one. Uh, also, looking yeah, at it, I don't know why okay. I thought Riolu had two little year tufts each. Is that Lucario? Does Lucario have two year things on each side, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't yeah, matter. yeah, I think um, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Or is it like a ninja circle? Maybe, but yeah. Well, there we are. That's uh, that concludes the first episode of Draw Toys. I've really enjoyed this. This has been uh, a lot of fun. I've just been able to just yeah, very just uh, to draw from my imagination. Indeed. So. I mean, to be honest, and yeah. if we do this enough, there's a decent chance one day it'll be like Psyduck or something, kind of like a Pokemon you kind of know. You know, so it's like ah. Oh, I know what to draw there, you know. Uh, it'll be totally different again, like just something you know, like. But, but that, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you yeah. know, you know what it is. Don't you know like, what Pikachu uh, looks like? Why is it? Why is it a, a, a Triceratops with ruler blades for arms? Uh, but yeah. yeah. Right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me for this. This has been uh, a ton of fun. Uh, Thank you. We, I mean, unless oh. any of you really hated this experience, I'm definitely up for doing this again as well. So, uh, you know, keep sure. keep an eye out. I'll be doing some more of this. Uh, and yeah, that's that's about it. Really, I've got no particularly good outro to give. Um, I'll leave a playlist for the other Draw Toys episodes as well, in case you're a big fan of our artistic abilities. Um, and yeah, and I'll leave YouTube choose another random video for you guys. I'd wear a T-shirt of that. The ice cube thing I, I drew. Well, hey, and you know, if this gets enough views, we'll set up a merch store. Uh, <laughs> and by enough views, I mean literally thousands, so that's never going to happen. But 100,000 viewers, we put that ice cube on a t shirt. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Put it on um, Red Bubble. Done. Uh, try, okay, there we are. That That's a view view goal for this video. 100,000 views, and we'll do it. So share this with your friends. That's cool. That's cool. Um, it's not going to happen, but I appreciate it. All right. On that note, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from the other three as well. I'm not going to let them talk now. Goodbye.